Hello everybody, my name is Matt and welcome back to the season one finale of Hell of a Boss called Queen Bee. Uh, last time we had a disaster. <laughs> the gays that were sad because there was a big disaster at the club at Ozzy's. Um, got a lot of interesting uh, interactions between different characters that we've come to know and love over the season. But today we're taking a look at the other half of what happens on that same night with Luna, as you can see from the first, second screenshot, there's not really a, um, there wasn't like a warning before this one. I have to assume because it's a special episode that went through a bunch of different problems and, uh, it's, so I'll probably talk about it a little bit later. I guess I could cover it now. I know already for a fact that this episode got supremely delayed. Um, I'm not exactly sure when during season two it came out, but I know that there were issues with, uh, the Kesha song that's in this. And just once again, I will preface that I have seen the song out of context before I watched any of the show. Um, it was one of the two things I have seen before I started. It was this song. And shortly before I started watching, the thing that convinced me to watch Hell of a Boss after I finished Has Been was Look My Way, the Stola song. So I've seen those two things and that's it. So I know it's in this episode. Um, I've had some people in the last episode's comments suggest that, uh, and I had thought this myself, but I hadn't said it yet out loud, that perhaps the thing that kept getting this episode delayed was, um, uh, long story short with Kesha, she had a really horrible music producer who, uh, just a real fucking scumbag and, uh, <laughs> sexual violence and all, all, all the other stuff that comes with someone being a scumbag like that. So I wondered if... I don't know if this is confirmed or not, but I wonder if Kesha herself was reluctant to tie the song and thus part of this property to him before she could finally get away from him, which she thankfully finally did. I don't know if that's the case or he was pulling bullshit behind the scenes with the song, whatever. But yeah, so I know that's probably the main reason this kept getting delayed. So anyway, without further ado, I have no idea what this is about, except for that Luna has gone out to a club with Tex while... Blitz and Stolas were having their horrible night at Ozzy's. So we're just going to see what happens next, and we're going to start it in 3, 2, 1, now. You want me to drop you off here? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, this looks right. I, uh, haven't been here before. Now, where is she? Because they were on the lust ring. <laughs> She's adorable. Also, Luna looks great. Luna! Hey, girl! Glad you could make it! Tex looks good as always. Hey, thanks for inviting me. Of course, of course! Hey, everyone! Meet the new face! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like all dog club? Oh no, there's imps. And so I tell you, I'm not gonna go gotta unless you fucking crawl at us, Ty. That is so not fetch. Not fetch. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like that happens all the time. Uh -huh. OMJ. I already hate the middle girl. Uh, but she they all have cool designs, like a Dalmatian on the right, a poodle in the middle, and on the left it has is like Dog Vaggy, <laughs> kind of. Luna, lunatic Luna, that yo. Oh, they know uh, her. Yeah, it's Luna. Yeah. Wow. I can't believe you're showing up to another party. I mean, do you even remember the last one? I'm sure you'll remind me. Yeah, this. Oh. This year, right? Oh no. Why do you still have that? It brings me joy. You know, you're supposed to keep things that bring you joy. Wow. You're being really negative. Your aura is really aggressive right now. Oh my god, I know people like this poodle demon, and I fucking hate them. <laughs> they are the worst. They are so annoying. Luna, just kill her. I don't even care if it's right or wrong or you'll get in trouble. I've met so many people like this poodle. Oh god, someone get rid of her. <laughs> Oh yeah? Well maybe it's because I'm in the presence of a massive bitch! Nice! Oh, my dog. Wow. What? Is that not an okay thing to say? Oh my dog. Come on, it's true. You can't say that. 
Did I miss anything? No, no, no. <laughs> no, nothing. No. Ha <laughs> How are my dirty bitches doing tonight? Kesha! Y'all ready to party with the queen bee of gluttony. Wait. The queen bee of gluttony? Is Kesha fucking Beelzebub? Wait, the that that the the fox demon girl with the with the cotton candy tail? That's Beelzebub. Oh, I think her design is super cool. I never put that together. So she's on the gluttony ring then. If this is the if this is the if this is the Beelzebub club, and Queen Bee, how did I never? Oh my god, it's another one of those things where it's like I was missing just enough context that I didn't I didn't put it together. Come on. I got that's gotta be right, right? And also because Queen Bee, Beelzebub is like, is like, not historically is not the word I'm looking for. Biblically, Beelzebub is associated with insects. So it works on like Queen Bee, like B as in bugs or B as in Beelzebub. Uh, you know, it works. I see you. I see you, Vivian. I see what you're doing. Flowing tonight and this bitch about to get... Because she does have the insect aesthetic as well with the wings and the antler or the antenna. But she still looks like canine, which is cool. Oh, here we go. I love this song. I've listened to it a lot. What a good design. The lava lamp that turns into like cotton candy. Of course, I cannot believe I've seen this so many times and didn't realize she was Beelzebub because she's giving out food and later on she like makes the drinks bigger for people and people are eating tacos and she makes them like huge. Ugh. How did I not know? Ugh. Yeah, of course. Oh, the sin of gluttony. Oh my god, that shot is so cool. It's interesting because it's like honey. So she's she's getting honey from the people that are like b being gluttonous. It's not the same. I know it's not the same. It's just it's different enough that I know it's not the same. But it reminds me of um, like in Has Been when you see Lucifer uh, with Charlie singing uh, more than anything. And he like, I don't know where he takes her, but he like goes into like his circus tent world and you see like the the flowing like angelic power which i guess is like his his power source of pride um it reminds me of that and it's interesting i i, I like oh and it's like oh my god it's honey like a bee like a beehive like a honeycomb i love that she could have vivian could have so easily gone with like this stereotypical like the sin of sloth is like this gross old fat dude with insects flying around him. But no, it's like a hot fox lady with like insect features, like playing into like the bee, like the queen bee. Oh, it's this is maybe like my favorite uh, interpretation of Beelzebub I've ever seen. It's great. The lava lamp shit is so cool. Oh my god, and I remember in this song, this is Tex's girlfriend, too. He's dating a fucking deadly sin? Damn. Get it, Tex. I love Kesha. Ha <laughs> ha 
God, the colors in this episode. Oh my god. This is, I've just, just chills this whole time, and I've heard this song like 10 times. Yeah, I'm with Tex. That was great. Oh my god, that was great. Ow, ow, Vortex! Party is buzzing now. Fuck! I feel like I went a little too hard with the confetti this time, though. I have, like, a rainbow in my vagina right now. <laughs> oh, this is... I just love this. The colors are so... Look, I know we always... Everyone always knows that the animation on Has Been and Hell of a Boss is amazing. This episode is fantastic in that regard. Holy shit. Oh, hey, is this the sweet pup you told me about? Excuse me? She's a fucking cutie. Where you been hiding, girl? <laughs> is there something funny? Is she actually like a nice? Yeah, I'm just really high on all this tasty energy right now. Tech says you don't get invited out much. I hope this itty bitty get together can serve as a fun first time. Itty bitty, a gigantic club where everyone's getting trashed and wasted and high. I mean, I guess she is the sin of gluttony, so. Is she, is she like just a nice person? She hasn't really been mean. It seemed like she, I mean, she is using people to make like honey, but it's not like she's forcing them to do it. Because listen, like, even the lyrics of the song, I'm what you want, not what you need. Like, that's such a perfect encapsulation. Encapsules it. Oh my god, I can't say the word. It's the epitome of what gluttony is, and it's just like it, I didn't really put it together until I was thinking about it just now. Because she's is this is she's giving people what they want. She's not like mind controlling people to give her what she wants. Cool, I like this. I would have thrown a bigger this is one, so but I cool. couldn't convince Belfagor to let me break into her stash of party drugs. So fucking lame. I mean, I usually just steal them, but Bell changed the locks. She says <laughs> I'm a total jackass for trying, but. Belphegor is one of the sins that I forgot last episode, right? Which of the... Is, is Belphegor sloth? I don't remember. Hey, I'm proud to be a total jackass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, B, this is Luna. Luna, this is my girlfriend, B. Nice to meet you, bitch. Oh, this is... Tex, how did you score... She's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, Tex, you didn't tell me she was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit. How Imagine if Luna's, like, new best friend is, like, a fucking deadly sin. And then her dad is dating a Goetia. And then Blitz's other friend is dating another deadly sin. Like, their family's got all the connections. How freaky you come off, and that... Well, I guess Blitz is not really friends with Fizz, but you know what I mean. I feel like that's gonna be a thing that gets to... I think you're gonna be friends again by the end of it. She was hilarious. That's so funny. Right. I love that that's the first thing you say to me. You don't give a shit how freaky you come off, and that's fucking beautiful. You are my new favorite person. Am I, though? Yeah, <laughs> bitch! No, really! Reminds me of the first time I saw Satan without a shirt on. I was like, oof, boy, you are hot as hell. But then I wanted to die because it was so awkward because he's more like a brother to me. Because you know, <laughs> he's a sin. actually my brother. So I guess it was fine. I could hit that. <laughs> you are in hell. Anyway, girl, you have a good time tonight. Get some sweets, get some eats, drink it, tear it, fuck it up. Woo! Cheers, honey! I mean, she just... Coming. Do you need anything? Are you having fun? Are you good? Are you drunk? She just seemed like a nice person. I mean, she, again, she is getting something out of it, but she doesn't seem like... Nothing like what I thought the sin of gluttony would be. Like, this is... This is great. Okay, good. Okay, great. Are you good? 
Yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, what? Why? You just got here. At least one drink, right? Nope, you really wouldn't like me after one drink. Aw, oh, because that one girl made fun. Oh. Mmm, so this is, okay, so he's home already. All right, cool, got it. Got the, I got the, ow, I got the time frame. Just <laughs> asleep eating a bucket of ice cream that's melted. <laughs> Blitz, you're not doing good, buddy. This is like the lowest you've been so far. Also the horses again, really, more horses. Come on, Blitz, your daughter needs you. Doing you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. See, despite all his shit, he's still a good dad. Hey, that sounds like Blitzo, the always silent asshole. Hey, I knew it was you. Fuck, man, where you been? <clears throat> you here for the party? No, no, I'm just here picking up my daughter. He had a bad shit. night. <laughs> you have a daughter now? Adopted. Man, you're already leaving. Things just got started. Come in and show us all up again. No, no, thank you, but I think Looney wants to head back. Uh, howdy, next to you wants to leave? Watch it. <laughs> I mean, we could stay a little longer. I think we need to go. Okay, I think it's been a long night. Well, yeah, people yeah. Still know you. Listen to your dad. I think I want to give this another try. Please. You see a hot dude and she's like, I want to stay okay, now. Fine. <laughs> Maybe one drink. It's not good, not good. Oh my god. I paused it too soon or too late. I was like, this is not going to go good. This is going to blow up in his face. Blitz, you should have just stayed with Stolas, and now you're sad drinking, which is the worst kind. Blitz, 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 Blitz. And they're all enabling him. This is not healthy. This is like the bad kind of partying. Give me a real challenge. Oh yeah, wanna fucks with the big bitch and boy? I got a challenge for you. Oh. He's going to die. All right, let's do this. From B's personal supply, the hardest shit there is. You ready, my man? Oh, the, hu the honey drink. Wasn't, um, isn't that what, uh, uh, Verasica was drinking in episode three when they're on the beach? The thing that turns the, the fish into a demon? Oh, born ready. Bring it, Barky. I will drink you under this fucking table. You have no idea what kind of night I've had. <laughs> Yeah, we do. It's not good. All right, shit talker. But there hasn't been a soul yet who can beat me at my own game. So yeah, you really. bring the fire, baby. Oh, it's Queen B too scared to lose to a little imp like me. Oh, okay. Let's get it on, you little bastard. <laughs> I love her. Come on, Blitz. Fuck her up. You can do it. But this is not... Yeah, even she could tell it's fucked up. That's really cute. But also, he is going off the deep end. Clearly, someone needs to stop him, because Luna's not going to. Fuck me. What's a first? I haven't had a first in a while. That was magical. Seriously, impressive. I tip my crown to you, imp boy. Respect. No, this is not good. I thought that she got it for a second. That he, yeah, she gets it, see? Luna can't see it because she's not paying attention. But your dead guy dude is, um, he's seeming a bit out of control. Like, a mess. Yeah, it's worrisome. You want Look, they're actually, like, she's actually worried. You know what? It makes sense because if she, like she said earlier, she can, like, sense the vibes of, like, a party. Blitz is bringing the party down because he's not have he's he's self-destructing. He's not having a good time, I think, is what's going on. Wanna maybe check on him or something? What? No! No, Blitz is fine. He's always a mess. Trust me. Look, honey, I see people having fun and getting fucked up all the time, but he's clearly getting wasted off his ass and causing problems on purpose. Yes! So like you should check up on him at least. Just see if something's up. 
Is this like the the, the best of the deadly sins? Is fucking gluttony? Because <laughs> she's great. Don't act like you know him like I do. I ain't saying that. I'm just pretty sure he's had like four tongues inside him at once. I mean, good for him. <laughs> but I can taste the flavor of people at my parties. And yeah, see? I'm off a very not okay vibe, you know? Oh, yeah. And I bet you'd know the okay vibe, right? I mean, everyone likes you so much. What's that supposed to mean? Why is Luna being so mean to her? Like, she's been nothing but nice just because she's Texas' girlfriend. Luna, that's not very... You're not, you're not being a very nice person right now, Luna. You got a problem? She's fucking huge. I love the angel dust freckles. I know that's not exclusively him, but that's the most iconic thing I remember from him. And she becomes like more insect when she gets bigger. That's cool. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah. Nope. I'll uh, I'll check on it. Uh, sorry. Sorry. I know I got a little spicy there. I just hope everything works out. Now let's dance. Blitz! Blitz! She's just like a nice person. Where are you, shithead? Blitz! Oh, piss on a dick! What the fuck are you doing, Blitz? This guy. Look, he's not bad, but also, you literally left Stolas, Blitz. Jesus. It looks like you're in the middle of a goddamn orgy. Stop! Look, I didn't expect you to come in here and see any of this loony. I'm so sorry, but it's a party. I'm just having fun with, um, fuck is your name again? Dennis. Christ, <laughs> on a stick you would be a Dennis. Get the fuck away from me. I'm not fucking a Dennis tonight. I need Blitz. a Monica or Alejandro in here. You didn't do anything. <sighs> yeah, he's got to go. Better. Oh, well. You don't need anyone else sucking your face, freaky weirdo. You need to drink something other than Beezle juice. You need Stolas. Uh, no. Oh my god, now she's taking care of him. Oh boy. Well, see, Luna met like a hot wolf dude that isn't tech, so good for her. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> no. I want to hear that again. Do you need to throw up? No. <laughs> yeah, you do. No. Let's see if we can see more pictures. So we got... Yeah, Moxie and Millie in the top right with Blitz again. His Again, he scratched his own face out. And then Moxie and Millie again. Below that, more horses. A drawing of Luna. And then who is who's here in the in the bat frame photo? It's Blitz because he's 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 scratched his face out again. But what the hell? What is he with? Like two demon horses? It kind of looks like. Hmm. I had a really shitty day. Oh yeah, is that why you drank like five gallons worth of who knows what? Fuck, Fizz was right. I'm gonna die alone, aren't I? We can't have, like, a bop episode where we're dancing to Kesha and doing all this shit, and then we're gonna start being sad. There's, like, two minutes left. We cannot do this. Just a wrinkly, old, weathered waist. Will you be there, Looney? Beware. It's lonely. I will die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Will you be there? What does he mean? Like, when he dies? I don't like be this. There, Beware. Uh, it's lonely. I won't die alone. I'll be there, Dad. Now go the fuck to sleep. Okay? What did he just say? Moxie and Stolas? I'm gonna turn I'll it up for there, myself, Dad. but I'm not gonna turn up the volume on the video. Now go the fuck to sleep, okay? <laughs> it's not like he said Meldy, Meldy, and Moxie and Stolas. Huh. It didn't. He didn't say Millie. He said like Meldy, Moxie, and Stolas. Maybe he meant Moxie or Millie, but he's drunk. 
Fuck. Yeah, I did need to throw up. Oof. That was rough. Let's see Kesha. Show us Kesha. Is this another Kesha song? Nice. Let's go, Kesha. Jinx Monsoon again. What what a Chad. Queen Queen Jinx. Huh. Damn. I want to see the music part. What is this song? It's a bop. Let's see, Cotton Candy written by Kesha, performed by Rochelle Dion. Kesha wasn't singing the song? So she just voiced Queen Bee but didn't sing the song? It sounded just like her. So shout out to Rochelle she fucking nailed it. I wonder if this again has to deal with um the shit with Dr. Luke. Like maybe if she didn't sing it then it's not tied to her? Or to him? I you could have fooled me. I thought that was a Kesha song. I mean, it's written by her, so it is a Kesha song, but not performed. Also, Monsters Ball, sung by um, I, have, I always forget how to pronounce her name. Lalia, I know her from um. She's done some Final Fantasy fourteen song covers that I really like, so it's I do know who she is. She sounds great. I also thought this was Kesha. So interesting. Like this is a little sh a little shocking. So there we go, the end of uh, season one. Let's see, uh, let's think about where our main characters are at this point, with season one at the end. Millie and Moxie are pretty much the same. Like, they're like rock solid, cool. Like, they're chill. They're together. They got their shit together. They know what's going on. Luna, I guess, made some friends, which is nice. Um, so she seems to be a little bit better off than she was. Uh, <laughs> Blitz is like at rock bottom right now and Stolas is like having a bad time but Stolas does seem to no longer have his horrible wife living with him which is good um so yeah I'm really curious we're finally done with season one season two starts next time and we'll see where uh where it all goes from here I saw the thumbnail for season one or episode one of season two and it looks like more Blitz and Stolas. And maybe even Fizz, too. So I'm curious what that's going to be. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you next time. And yeah, stay awesome and farewell.